Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to Ram Overload. Today I'm going to be talking about whether Basecamp or Asana is better for your startup. All right, so these two are very close competitors in terms of what they provide and what you can do with them. And they have very good price point as well, in my opinion. So, you know, a lot of startups, they don't know what tools to use. So I'm going to just be comparing these two and, you know, have my final thought at the end on which one I would prefer. All right, so let's start with Basecamp. So once you go to the Basecamp pricing page, you can see that all the features that they provide and you do have a 30 day trial um, and they only have one fee, which is $100 a month, right? Which, you know, kind of may seem a lot, especially as a startup or as a sole developer working on your own project, just something to keep track. You, you need something to just keep track of things. Um, you know, $100 might be feeling a lot. Uh, they do have a limited but free version, which includes three projects, 20 users, and one gigabyte of storage space. Okay, so, you know, which is really good. You know, um, three projects is not bad in terms of uh, what someone will be working on at one time. And then on top of that, uh, 20 users, that's that's a lot you know most other platforms do not even give 20 users they might give like couple like four or five maybe you know up to five is probably what i've seen max but 20 is a lot so you can have a decent sized startup and still use the free version and then lastly but not least it has one gigabyte of storage so storage space um, it is useful in terms of you know they do allow you to upload files to their servers right uh, but if you're a startup you most likely will be using like google drive or dropbox or box right where you have your own cloud storage to keep um, all your documents there so let's see over here it says you can save big you, you know slack six six dollars a month um, per user and you know they do have real-time chat and messages as well so they're adding that they have Asana to-do list uh, $11 a month uh, to-do list and then Dropbox 15 and G Suite with Docs and Calendar plus six and you know they do provide all those um, I guess features but we'll take a look a little more in depth on whether um, just the way they do it and whether it's better than these individual providers themselves. So uh, with for five people, it equals out to $193. Um, and Basecamp is just $100. So, you know, it, it does seem good um, on the front end where, you know, you just have a flat fee of $100 no matter what. You know, once you reach a certain amount of people, it probably will be better or profitable to use Basecamp, right? You know, you could, let's say if you have 50 people, you know, if you're still paying $100 compared to whatever prices you'll be paying for Asana, um, then it might be worth it just getting Basecamp. But let's get into the actual application itself. So I'm going to use the desktop application uh, rather than the web page. It is both the same, so you don't need to worry. So this is the desktop application right here. I do have the dark theme enabled, right? So you guys can, you, once you load it initially, it might look slightly different. Um, so it is good that it comes with a dark theme because, you know, whoever uses the light theme is, I don't know what they're thinking, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so you can, you can see over here, this is the layout. This is a very weird layout. And, you know, the first time I saw this, I didn't really understand why they would do it this way. Right. But, you know, after using it quite a bit, I still don't understand. But yeah, let's get right into it. The first thing is you can see these two projects I have. Um, they're both pinned right so if I unpin them it's just a blank screen which I I find weird I mean you have to view it in a list but then that just looks weird also so I don't know why they don't have a proper home page okay um, it, it's just like if it's pinned then they have a home page otherwise it's just a blank screen which is really weird um, that's the first thing the second thing I want to mention is let's go to a specific project so right here, you can see the message boards, to-dos, docs files, campfire schedule, and automatic check-ins. All right, and let's go over each one. So message board. So it just posts announcements, pitch ideas, progress updates, and feedback on topic. So it's, I, I don't really know of any company or, you know, anyone doing it this way where, you know, they would just pitch ideas on a message board. You know, it would be more of, 
you know, it, it, that's just how I, I've been doing it in the past. It's just never, you know, if I've worked with someone on like a small project or anything, uh, we didn't just pitch out ideas on a message board, which, you know, just eventually got forgotten and just um, skimmed over, right? Uh, progress updates, you know, that's what the to do's are for. So I don't really see the point of the me okay announcements all right i understand that but pitch idea i i don't think that this deserves to have its own column or own box on this page okay next is to do's so obviously every project needs a to do you know the things that i need that needed to be done all right now this is where the issue comes once you click it this is just a weird setup that it has so name the list let's name it um things things i have to do um whatever let's just add this list okay so now we can see over here this is one list and this is the list name things i have to do and this is one of the items add to do um that well i, I guess this is the description not the item um, so let's just show you how it looks so i don't know why it's laid out like this it's weird especially if you have like multiple people like i can assign other people to this right and it's just the layout is just really odd for me right or i'm just not used to it even though i've used this for quite a bit and i just haven't been able to get used to it it's just really odd in that sense okay um you know some people might like it but you know once i show you asana right um you will probably be like okay that's a much better way to do to do's okay uh, rather than this way so uh, the to-do list definitely useful but just the way that it's laid out is just odd all right next docs and files this one i really like you know in Basecamp, you can upload your documents your important documents related to this specific project okay so that's one thing that i really like about Basecamp is uh they include this inside Basecamp itself itself and there's a lot of integrations in it so the the I guess the ideal application would be where you can do everything in one application, right? Uh, whether it be a desktop or website, um, you want to be able to just do everything in one place rather than having to have like a million different applications open and stuff. So that's where also Campfire comes in useful, which is kind of like a real-time chat. Um, it, it's really useful, um, but I, I won't really see myself using Campfire over Slack or something. You know, it would be better if they just had an integration of Slack in here somehow, but I don't see how Campfire, like, it, it's just not something that, um, you know, I personally would ever use um, rather than a dedicated application, which has its own perks. All right. Uh, next, let's move on to schedule. So this thing, schedule will show things that are, you know, upcoming due. Uh, what do you have to do? You can set the thing I really like about this is you can add an event that's not in your to do's. You know, most other places it has to be in your to do for it to have a due date. But the thing that I like is like it can just be there without it being a to do. OK, so you can add like your personal things on your schedule. Next, automatic check ins. This one also I don't really think mo anyone would really use. Um, are you blocked on anything? So, you know, you can add these questions. So when people see it, you know, if let's say if I am blocked on something, I'm not going to just write yes. Right. Um, and then, you know, hoping someone will come to me. Normally, if I'm blocked on a project or blocked on something, I would go to and talk to whoever can help me unblock myself from there. OK, so that's why I, I, I don't really uh, get this one either. So the, the, the good ones are to do doc files and schedule really. Um, and even from those three to do's is just really weird the way it's set up. So I don't agree with this also, right? Uh, let's just add another list, um, list two, saving, um, one, two, oh, four, whatever. So let's see how it looks. So it's just, it's just weird on the way it's just categorized is weird. I, there's something about the UI which I really don't like, and it just really makes me not want to use it. Okay, and you have your other like activities, someone else's assignments, uh, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that that's that's Basecamp. Now let's go over Asana. 
So now here is Asana. You can see that it's the home page is much nicer. It's just right away, it's a lot better. You have your priorities based off your tasks. You have a private notepad. You can just write random stuff in it. And you have your projects over here um, uh, on the bottom. Oh, you can reorganize Adobe, whatever. Uh, one thing I do wish that they had was a calendar over here where you can add your own uh, private events rather than it being just a... Um, a task and having to just show that one okay um, but before we get into that let's just show you Asana's pricing page you can see the basic is zero dollars and then it starts um, ten dollars ten ninety nine per month for each additional user okay and let's see from the basic from the basic one the free one you get unlimited projects tasks activity logs storage and comments which is amazing storage you know you really can't upload files that's why you get unlimited storage it's mostly just the tasks and the projects taking up space you get three board views list board calendar which are basically the most important ones out there right um, you probably would never use other ones anyways uh, basic workflow the thing about Asana it has a lot of integrations with a lot of different apps so like slack G Suite um, just a bunch of different things out there right reporting and then it does also have a 15 user limit okay um base camp had what was it 20 which wasn't bad but this one has 15 which you know it, it's not as good but you know it's still pretty good if you have a if you have a 15 man team you know you probably are um working on something a lot bigger than just small projects here and there so um other than that you know you get this uh basic features right so now let's go into the to do's so when you create a project right so let's just create a project and show you guys so you can show which workspace I have in engineering um, and you can choose which one so timeline that's premium I don't have that so list view board view calendar view you know it, it, it's all you know what you've probably seen in the past but just typical one and even when you create one way or the other, you can kind of switch it, toggle it from the top, uh, calendar view, list board. And, you know, just when doing this, it's just, you know, task one, task two, just, it's, it's just a lot more, I guess, streamlined and a lot more nicer in the way it looks. Okay, you can assign it to people and then, uh, you know, you do have a signy due date project tag. The other ones are paid right um so you do have to take that into consideration I, w I really wish they had the um like the in progress or the status uh for free also but i guess they don't which kind of sucks but then again normally i just have it when i'm done with it i manually move it to in progress usually using the board which you know just kind of easy to do and then when it, once it's done press the check and then move it over uh, if you get the page, you can do it that, you know, once you press the check, it would automatically move to completed. But, um, you know, that's the paid one. I'm just talking about free features for now, at least. So that is the um, the to-do board. There is no board where you can upload, which kind of sucks, in my opinion. Um, I would really like there to be a place where I can just upload documents. Also, keep everything related to that project in one place but they don't have that um, maybe an integration some kind of integration would help but you know something out the box they don't have all right um, that being said next um, the calendar view is you know I'm not really too happy with it or you know not really what I was looking for um, or hoping for it is basically when you add something right it's it, it becomes a task right and I don't always want it to be a task it's just you know I when it, when it becomes a task it's kind of more like things I have to do on the to-do board so let's say if I have a to-do list about a project that I'm working on and I want to add something on the calendar but it's not related to that project it's just something on my personal life that I got to do or just something I got to do but it's not related to the project there's nowhere in here where I can add it you know there's no calendar outside this project view where I can go and add uh, what I need to add so that's that's what I don't like about this but other than that you know it's it's kind of 
all you need. You know, especially if you're a startup and you don't know where to begin, I highly suggest you go with Asana, right? Uh, their free version. If you if it's just you or if it's you know a small team of like four or five, well up to fifteen people, you know you can use this basically the way you want. I've used this. I probably have this blurred out on the left hand side, but I have like five six projects that I'm working on. Some I'm, some I'm working with other people. Some I'm working alone, some multiple, like four or five people, some just one other person. And, you know, I'm just keeping track. And this it, it's just get, it gets the job done. It's just it's doing what I need it to do, basically. Right. Obviously, paid will probably be helped slightly more. But at this point, I don't think me paying for it is worth it. And the thing is, if I pay for it, the other person also has to pay for it as well in terms of whoever's in this workspace. OK. So that, that's the thing. So if you have five people in the workspace, you have to get five licenses. It's not like one person who doesn't have premium can can be on there enjoying the benefits of premium. So yeah, that being said, that's pretty much it. You know, overall, I would go with Asana as my pick rather than Basecamp. Um, you know, Basecamp is a great tool as well, right? But, well, uh, Basecamp 3, I, I should say. But at this point, I don't think that it outperforms Asana um, overall. So yeah, that's my thoughts on it. You know, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments below um, on any of these applications or any other application you might think is better, do let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Other than that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.